Hey everyone, Erin here, aka Afro Herper, and we're gonna talk all about lizards' tails today. So lizards, um, especially lizards in the Guanade family, have the ability to drop their tails, and so this is called caudal autotomy in the scientific community or um, self-amputation of a limb. The mechanism really does vary from species to species, but it all starts with contracting of the tail muscles. So um, along the tail, just like going down your back, there's vertebrae, there's bone, and at different parts, um, different places on those vertebrae, there are weakened points. So on our lizard here, our lizard tail, there's three different points here towards the end of the tail, here in the middle, here towards the base of the tail. And so at any of these three places um, where it's already weakened, our lizard can drop its tail. So my little sister is gonna be our predator today. And so our predator is gonna come in and grab the lizard's tail. Oh! Tail broke. So when the tail breaks off, it's normally moving around, flipping, and uh, still very active in the hopes that it will distract the predator. So the lizard might drop the tail when the, the predator actually grabs it. It might drop the tail if it senses a predator and it's like, okay, well, I'm just gonna drop it here now so it distracts the predator and I'm just gonna run away to safety. Or if it's like bitten by a venomous snake, it might drop its tail to prevent the venom from reaching really um, sensitive organs. So if a predator comes in and uh, grabs the tip of the tail, Tail. Our lizard can drop its tail right there. So if you notice, our predator is holding the very tip of the tail. It grabbed the very tip. It didn't grab up here. It didn't grab like right there. It grabbed the very tip. So they're weakened. So at the weakened points along the tail, um, whatever that closest weak point is, that's where it's going to break off. So our lizard lost the tip of his tail lucky for the lizard it'll grow back it won't be exactly the same the color will be different the scale pattern will be slightly different this new tail is made of cartilage whereas the original tail is bone um, but the lizard will be fine. Unfortunately for the lizards, regrowing tails is really um, energetically expensive. Uh, instead of um, spending energy on growing its own body mass or reproduction, the lizard uh, has to spend that energy on regrowing its tail. During the time when it's um, lost its tail, it may uh, be less likely to defend its territory if tails are used in um, letting other lizards know this is my spot. Um, the lizard might have trouble attracting mates if tails are important in courtship. The lizard um, may have, if, especially with females, if the fat storage is mainly in the tails, it may have trouble with um, producing a large clutch of eggs or eggs that um, are larger as opposed to smaller. So as I already said, our lizard tail has three different breaking points. However, for a real lizard, it um, will have more than that. But say that our predator came and grabbed the lizard on the tip of the tail. Predator, you're supposed to grab the lizard on the tip of the tail. Ah, the tip of the tail is lost. Well, it's fine. The lizard can regrow that. We have our new tail here. But say the predator comes back and it grabs the lizard's tail on the next section. Oh no, we lost so much tail. Well, it's okay. The lizard can start to um, grow a tail back again. We've regrown our tail. But say the predator comes back a third time for the lizard and it grabs the next section. Oh no look at all that's left well it's fine the lizard can regrow its tail one more time all right our lizard has successfully regrown its tail for a third time but say the predator comes back a fourth time what happens what happens to the lizard he better skedaddle or else he's predator food so when lizards are regenerating their tails it doesn't always look like this. Rarely, on a rare occasion, 
it might look like this. So that happens when the lizard doesn't fully break the tail, but it still starts uh, to regenerate a new tail. Um, sometimes, very rarely though, with the regenerated tail, it might be more than one um, piece coming out. So it might have like two pieces of regenerated tail coming out of there. So um, that's really rare and it's not 100% certain why that happens, but uh, it's a possibility. And so uh, many of you might be thinking, how easy is it for a lizard to drop its tail? Well, it really depends on the species of lizard. Some, um, it takes very little, just, you know, you might just tap it or it might just think that it senses a predator and the tail is gonna fall off. But with other lizards, it might be a little bit hardier. It might be able to grab, be grabbed by the tail and it might be like, mm, my chances are getting away, you know, they still might be pretty good. So I won't drop my tail just yet and I'm gonna try to get away and it might be um, more, uh, take more for that lizard to drop its tail. Um, and I looked into this, but we can't, I can't couldn't really find a whole lot of information on what a lizard feels when it drops its tail. I one would assume that it feels some kind of pain, but in general, pain is really understudied in reptiles, um, including lizards. We know that they do feel pain. We just don't know all of um, the signs of a lizard feeling pain and lizards typically will not show pain to humans because that's not what they were evolved to do so um, it's all about recognizing pain there's it's a really interesting study topic um, to see you know what kind of pain a lizard might feel when it drops his tail so that might be interesting for uh, someone to study in the future Hey y'all, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or other topics that you might want me to cover, please leave it in the comments and I'll check them. While you're still here, press that subscribe button. You know you want to, you know you want more content. Just click that subscribe and you'll be in the loop for all future videos. Thanks again, bye.